So in the last video, we created an auto AI experiment which ran eight different pipelines um, against a metric, which was the root mean squared error. We then ranked and found our top performing pipeline, and then we saved that as a model. In this video, we're going to go ahead and deploy that model and then test it. And we can test that all within the Watson Studio interface. After we make sure it's running correctly, um, we can go ahead and connect and use some of the API credentials like the API key, the deployment ID, and the model ID. And we'll use that within our Flask application and then use that API connection to get the info from Watson Studio and our deployed machine learning model. So we'll click on Add Deployment here in the Deployments tab, and we'll say uh, YouTube Deploy. And you'll see it's a web service and it's initializing. Um, we'll click on this. So it'll give it, it's still taking a couple seconds, so I'll come back in a minute or two. Okay, so we waited a couple minutes and now we can go ahead and test our model. So let's just make sure that it's uh, performing properly. Okay, um, so given a smoker, it's about right that it's 16,000. So that looks about right. Um, so now that we've tested the model, let's go ahead and implement it. Um, and we'll show you how to link a web application, which you saw in the first video, that three minute demo. And now that we have this deployed, I'll show you how easy it is to actually implement this with the Watson Machine Learning Service. So we'll click on this implementation tab. Okay, so, but first let's go ahead and actually um, clone this repository. So I'll just copy this. I'll start a new uh, window in VS Code. So I'll do make directory uh, YouTube auto AI. And then I'll do a git clone. So now um, in here we have the web app portion and all we need to do is we have to go ahead and grab our ML instance ID but this deployment ID can be found right here. Um, so we will add this deployment ID here. Save that. And then what we need here is a couple things. We need a bearer token, but first we'll get the ML instance ID. So we'll duplicate this tab and then we'll go black back into IBM Cloud. So you're gonna go and find the service. So now we're gonna find the machine learning service associated with the auto AI experiment, which is this one. And then here we have the API key and then instance ID. So first we'll grab the instance ID And next, we just have to do this uh, bearer access token. So we have the script in here. So if you go down in the step seven, um, we have the step generate access token. And all we have is this curl request here. And we have uh, commands for Windows users as well. So in this API key, one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, um, we're gonna grab our API key. We grab our API key from the um, Watson Machine Learning instance that's associated with the auto AI experiment. And we paste it in here and we just hit enter and we'll get this big string. And this has, this is for, you can, um, this token is last for an hour. So we're just gonna copy and paste right above this, where this quote ends. So this whole chunk here and we'll paste it into here. Be careful where you paste it. You wanna make sure it's inside the quotes and that should be good to go. And if we go into here, um, we'll go into the web app directory. So note we're running um, Python 3.8.2. So it is um, tested with that. And we just have to run a few things to install the prerequisites. 
and all we got to do is we have to run this pip3 install command and now just do a flask run and now you should have your insurance estimator up and running so let's give it a quick try nice job so you see it's working and if we click yes we should get a much larger charge so what we learned in this video is we learned how to deploy our model within Watson Studio we then tested it within Watson Studio and then we took all these API credentials and we showed how to implement this and connect our Flask application to this deployed machine learning model. And of course, this can be done with any other data set, but I just show, I wanted to show you that within 20 minutes, you can get a nice deployed model and an easy front end user interface to talk to that model and get predictions. So hopefully you found this helpful. If you did, give me a th thumbs up and I'll be sure to make more AI and machine learning content. Thanks so much.